Hi, I'm Pete from A Suit That Fits, and this is how to tie a double Windsor knot. So to demonstrate how to tie a double Windsor knot, firstly I'll be showing you how to do it on myself, and then we'll be taking it over to the mirror, where I will be demonstrating how it can be done from a different angle. So firstly, the double Windsor knot has a much wider tie knot, so it's better, more suitable to thinner ties where that won't become too bulky, and also to uh, cut away collars, any collars that have a very, very wide spread on them. Um, will be filled by the larger tie knot. So the first thing you want to do is just lay the longer side over the shorter side and then come up and through from the underside. So you should have a thicker section to what is starting to appear as a small V there on the left hand side if you're right handed. Next thing you want to do is to come through behind and over again from the other side. Now as you can see we have essentially a large V being made from this section of the knot. So then we pass the tie in front and over that V, then back through the back of the knot. Then much like at the end stage of a four in hand knot, we just make a little room there and slide the tie nicely through. Okay, and to recap, you want to take the longer side of the tie, place it over the shorter section of the tie, and bring it up through the back and over onto the left hand side. What you should have is a much thicker section on the left hand side. You then pass the tie underneath, then over again and down the back. What you should be left with is a nice V shape knot. So you want to then pass the thicker section of the tie, the longer section of the tie, across that V shaped knot, then push it over the back and then pull the, the V a little loose, and then the tie should slide right through. Just fiddle with it at the end if you need to, to make a, a more pinched and better shaped knot. And there you go. That is how to tie a double Windsor knot.